happy Thursday. It's time for another vlog. I got up super late today. It's the latest I have got up in a long, long time. I got downstairs and it was 10 o'clock. Oh. I'm reminding you. Well. That's Alexa reminding Abby that it's break time. <laughs> they changed her hours for what her lessons were, so I had to set it up on the Alexa to even remind me when her lesson should be. Yeah, absolutely knackered today. I haven't gotten up at 10 o'clock for a long, long time. I was actually first up at half five this morning, which was my own fault because I had chocolate yesterday. For those of you who have stuck around for a while, you'll know I have hypoglycemia. I had it checked out. I am still awaiting uh, to see a dietitian. I actually received a letter the other day to say, yes, I'm still on the list and yes, she's still waiting. So I've been trying to do it myself and wean myself off the sugar and eat stuff that's longer lasting. And now I have like granola or porridge for my breakfast. We were making and trialing the Easter chocolates. So I've skipped uh, Valentine's Day. I'm not gonna be doing Valentine's Day. And we're working on the Easter chocolate designs to go up in the shop. And we did one design and I wasn't, loving it so i've ordered some sprinkles i think it needed some sprinkles on it so we ate the reject one and i had some chocolate yesterday and i think it's just obviously give me that sugar spike so as i was coming down from that i get really hungry <laughs> so i had a bagel before i went to bed for my supper and usually that will that will make me last till morning but half five my stomach was like get up get something to eat and I usually have a little box at the side of my bed that has snacks in and that was empty <laughs> so and there's absolutely there's just no way I'm getting back to sleep my stomach's just like you are going to get up so I came downstairs at half five this morning bleary eyed for a packet of watsits and then I went back to bed um and I slept and then I woke up again roughly a half nine of my stomach. So I had what's it's at half five and at half nine, my stomach was like, get up, you need your breakfast. I don't get up because I wake up, I get up because my stomach tells me it's time to eat. So yeah, by the time I'd done my hair and chosen my jumper for the day, it was 10 o'clock when I got downstairs. It's now 11 o'clock, I've been up an hour, I've eaten my breakfast, I have caught up with the brigade and now because it's Tuesday today, I need to get the tutorial up for five o'clock. So luckily I did all my vo my script yesterday and I just have to do my voiceover. So got the microphone out. This just needs plugging into the computer. This is actually Kai's microphone. He got this a couple of Christmases ago because he wanted to get into video making and stuff. And he, he just didn't. <laughs> he did a few, uh, but now I use it. So I'm going to do the voiceover for this video. There's lots I need to show you or tell you about. I've got a massive job list to do. So I will see you in a little bit. For those who follow me on Instagram will know I use notes on my iPhone and use the dictation, this, the dictation button, to record my script so that when I come to read it back, I can read it fluently into the microphone. However, I did this last night and I usually go through and check it because it doesn't always get it right. And I just almost read this one out. This was supposed to say bulbs. I said bulbs iPhone. <laughs> what accent is that? Bulbs. <laughs> right, I really need to get this tutorial ready. I have just had my sprinkle order arrived. These look like. Yay! So I got some pastel. So because these are matte and not shiny, I think these are actually vegan friendly. Let me just check. Yeah, so this product is vegetarian and vegan. So if they're not shiny and they're matte, there's a good chance that they're vegan. So we have obviously the blue, yellow, and pink are my brand colours but they're also going to work well for the pastels of Easter and then I got some cute little mixes they've got cute little bunnies and ducks and butterflies in this this is the cutie pie mix got two of those 
and then I got dinosaurs. So these are colourful ones, um, a bit brighter because I'm going to pair these with the, the really coloured Smarty Eggs. And this one is the Sprinkletisaurus mixture. And I got two of those. And it looks like they sent me a little sample. I got some cute little glittery stars. So thank you, Karis, who packed my order from Scrumptious Sprinkles. There they are on Instagram, at Truly Sprinkles. And it's free delivery if you spend over £20, which is very easy to do. What have you bought? Okay. I got some post today. Is yeah. that it? Yeah. Just green? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is, when did you order this? Like a month ago. So Kai has waited for a whole month <laughs> for his phone case <laughs> to arrive. And it's just a green one. It's nicer than the other one though. <laughs> So my picture's done for the launch tomorrow. I actually sneakily sent um, two pads to my Cherry Brigadiers. So this is the celebration pad that you've already seen in the last vlog. And my fixed wedding pad, because there was text box missing, it is now fixed. And I stuck all my little stickers on the back. So I sent them all a A5 celebration and an A5 wedding pad because they help design it and they help choose what information should go on it. Um, Cause usually the cherry mail doesn't go out till like the middle of the month, but I wanted to send them through so that they got theirs before they bought one. Cause I know there was a lot of people lined up ready to buy them and I didn't want to tell them that they were getting them, so I sent them early. And they've just started arriving with people today and these go up for sale tomorrow. So by the time this video goes up, while you're watching now, these should still be available if I haven't sold out. I don't think I will, because I've got a lot of them. And I also have those seconds as well that are cheaper. If you want to grab one of those with a missing text box, it will be, be priced cheaper than the fixed ones, obviously. But I have started using mine already. I don't know if I can spin you around, but... Here is my letter rack that I keep on my desk. This is, you can just pick up these letter racks from like B&M. It's got a little drawer in the bottom where I keep other people's business cards that I might need. And here are my pads. I have the wedding one and the celebration one stored there. These are the empty pads. And then 
when I get an order, I fill it in and then my orders go. You can see I've already I've already written one down the 12th of March 2022. And some of them are orders that I've already had, but because they're so scribbled on, spin you back around. But because they have been scribbled on and scribbled on with continuous date changes over and over again, I just thought, let's just write it neatly on a new sheet, on one of the new colourful sheets that brightens up my desk. And they are far better and so satisfying to fill in when they're colourful and fun than my other ones that are, are now just scribbly. So yeah, you can grab one of those. They're always gonna be linked in the description box. There's always a link to my shop in there where you can grab stencils and cake cutters and scrapers and stationery and enamel pins. I'm just branching out into all these different things. But I wanted to update you from the last vlog. At the very end of the last vlog you'll have seen, we had a power cut. That power cut lasted between four and five hours. So it was off for quite a while. So I did some drawing. Um, I drew this little 80s style picture. We had all the candles that it got dark so quick so I couldn't even finish ganashing my cake because it just got super dark. We had a couple of torches, we had all the candles lit, Abby had her illuminated cat. And we ended up ordering a takeaway because obviously our oven is electric. No microwave. <laughs> um, so we ordered a takeaway and ate it on the carpet. We put like a little blanket down and ate it in the living room so that we were all in one place, all with the door shut trying to keep this one room warm with all the candles lit because it was just pitch black. And then I got the cake finished the next day, which is this one, which is Stranger Things. I obviously did this one as a tutorial, which is up now if you want to watch it. Usually I can find fault in every cake I make and that could have been better, this could have been a better colour. I actually really loved this cake when I'd finished it. I think it was just, I loved the pattern anyway. I absolutely adore Eleven's romper suit. If you've no idea what I'm talking about, the cake was based on Stranger Things and in Stranger Things, the main character called Eleven, because it's set in the 80s, goes to the mall and buys herself a colorful 80s romper suit. I adored it, I want one. So I liked that pattern anyway, but when I had put it on the cake and stood back, I just thought, I want to make cakes like this more often, just 80s colorful shapes and it was just so happy looking. So yeah, that was what was missed. I also received parcels, one of which is up here. This has come all the way from Burbank in America. I just opened the top and slid out a beautifully packaged in tissue paper and cute washi tape. Oh wow, it's come out this, I, I love thick card. <laughs> I can appreciate good stationery. It's a gorgeous thick card. And she wanted to send a little bag of goodies to say thank you for all your hard work on the forum and the very adorable cherry mail. Oh, so this is from one of my cherries, Lacey in America. Not only does she make cakes but she also does crafts as well i love seeing i've just got a massive love for different arts and crafts because obviously i love cakes as well but when you see them day in day out it's nice to look at other crafts and lacy makes like cat toys with cat nipping out of felt she does drawings and stickers and stuff and it looks like she sent me some of those goodies oh my gosh how much is in here oh wow I've just picked this one up because you'll see on there, if you want to go and find her, she's called Miss Lulu Crafts on Instagram. And this will obviously be her craft page. And she did the most gorgeous flat lay using some of the cherry mail I sent. So she even kept like the tissue paper it was wrapped in and my bumblebee print and she scrapbooked it. It was gorgeous, I shared it. But how cool are these? Let me show you closer up because she will have drawn all these and turned them into stickers. And I just love them. I've obviously got a very autumny one there. I've got these individual stickers as well. <laughs> these are tea bags. The little tea bags with scenes in. I mean, I'm dying to color these in. I know they're supposed to be black and white, but 
I can just imagine they will be very satisfying to colour in. Got another one there. Oh my god, there's so many stickers. Oh, cute mama bear sticker. The night sky and a forest in the background. Oh, this has got to be the Adams family. I can tell with the the cutting of the roses and then you've got the little Adams family snap there. How cool are these? Are these stickers too, these little? Oh my God, they are. Oh my gosh. These tiny little bats are also stickers. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this one. This one's called the Green Witch set. Aren't they stunning? I would love to do stuff like this for cake ones. I just need to brush up a bit more on my art <laughs> skills before I get to that point. Oh, Harry Potter one. I know someone who will make good use of these little Hedwig stickers here at the bottom. Look at the keys. There's one called Witching Hour. All I'm going to say at the minute, cherries, the, these stickers are very relevant at the moment. Um, I can't say more than that because it's secret chat in the forum. But take note of some of these stickers. We have Love Potion. Oh my God, there's so many. She has absolutely spoilt me. There's boho ones, a witch named Blair. Oh my God, I can't believe how relevant these are at the moment for something that's happening in the forum. How cool. Oh, I've got Coraline. Oh my gosh. There's just so much stuff. I've got Coraline ones, which often gets mistaken for Tim Burton and it's not Tim Burton. But how cool. She will have drawn all these. So good. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do with all of these. I am one of those people where if I got stuff like this when I was little, if I got free stickers with something and I liked the stickers that much, I never actually used them. They still stayed on their sticker sheet because they were too good to use. So I just kept them and didn't use them. And stick these in my diary. I'm going to put the little bats near Halloween. Oh, but thank you, Lacey. That was gorgeous of you to send them through. Um, but yeah, make sure to go and check her out on Instagram because I am sure she will be selling those sticker packs if you fancy some. And another package that arrived that I did open it got sent directly from Amazon to my house from the lovely Dawn who likes to spoil me. She needs to stop spoiling me. She sent through lots of pouches of chocolates and sweets. So like a pouch of Maltesers and a pouch of Magic Stars um, to share as a family. So I tipped a few out into a bowl and we all shared them whilst watching a film and I've still got plenty left for another movie night. But it's funny because Adam, like, like you know, Adam is a massive sweetie monster and he was itching for some sweets. And obviously I've got a cupboard full and I wouldn't let him have any. <laughs> so like, no, that is cake stock. You're not allowed to touch the cake stock. How many of you out there who, who has cake stock, such as sacks of chocolate or sweets or whatever, and your family just keeps attempting to eat it? <laughs> Oh, so thank you Dawn for sending them through because um, it certainly cheered Adam up that he could have some sweets. But now I have got a cake in the oven. It's my niece's birthday this week on Friday. So a couple of days away. I usually bake early but or earlier but I'm baking today. It's a single tier and she loves LOL dolls. So tonight, whilst I'm going food shopping to Aldi, they've got a home bargains next door, which I'm going to nip in and see if I can get anything LOL-ish to use. Because it will be nice for her to have the dolls rather than make, make them out of sugar paste and she can't really play with what those ones, can she? It's much better for toys for things like that. So that's where I'm up to today. Um, I'll be filming it as a tutorial, so I guess I will catch up with you tomorrow. I finished the cake yesterday. I used the camera obviously to shoot it as a tutorial, but it is full on pink and blue. The color scheme chose itself because obviously the ball is pink and blue and silver um, and a lot of the lollies are blue and pink. So 
I just went with the same colour scheme and used some silver balls. I'm hoping to drop this off later on tonight when Adam gets in so I can hold it in the car. Obviously it will be a doorstep drop off. But I went for some LOL dolls and they didn't have any, they just had the pets. So I bought one for her to keep closed so she can open it and I opened this one. <laughs> And it's my first time opening anything like that. And they come with so many tiny little bits. So this is the ball that the pets come in. And all these individual bits are individually wrapped in their own little bags. And they're like accessories for the dog or the cat or whatever it's supposed to be. So I use the bunny ears and like the little collar it's got on. But it also has boots and balls and a little brush. So I'll take that up as well. But last night was the launch of the order form pads. I saw quite a few, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm just going to be packaging everybody's orders. Thank you to everyone who grabbed one. I hope they're already with you now and you've been able to start filling some of your orders in. That's going to take me a while today. Um, and then at the weekend, I'm hoping to finish painting because I still haven't finished. I've done a lot of painting, but everything's needed two coats. And all this started just because I wanted new door handles. These are the new door handles we wanted. <laughs> and because we took the old ones off that were like small squares, you'd be able to see where the old paint was and stuff. So we sanded them down, painted them. This side needed two coats. This took the longest because of all the, the glass. And obviously the other side. But what happens when you paint the door is that then the frame looks dirty so then you end up painting the frame and then when you've painted the frame let me just move this packing box your skirting boards are also cream <laughs> so these probably need painting same thing happened with this door so we painted that both sides then the frame needed doing the skirting boards still need doing because they're still cream but because this kind of touched the stairs, I ended up painting all of the stairs. Um, so the front door got another couple of coats on it and its new handle. And the last one to do is the kitchen door, which as you can see, this is the original color on this side still. You can see where I've painted that bit white. And this was the original color of the door, which looks very dark. And this wasn't me either because I've still got to paint this. I haven't painted this one strip yet, but whoever painted this before we moved in obviously caught the door. And this is what all the doors were like, just like slapped with paint. They, need, they did need doing really, but I've just ended up doing the whole thing. It's one of them things where you start one job and create another six whilst you're doing it. But yeah, I'm hoping to finish that at the weekend, get the last door handle on. And then it's my mum's birthday next week, so I'm making another cake. She is turning 70. We are, of course, still in lockdown. She's incredibly fussy and we're all struggling to think of what to get her. So I will probably be working on the cake at weekend as well. Not sure what I'm doing yet. But that's my little update seeing as I didn't see you yesterday. So I'm going to package those orders and figure out what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Sorry you were a bit lower down. I seem to have misplaced my mini tripod. It is now Monday. Spent the weekend painting like I said I would. But I spent all Saturday actually sanding and caulking. I'll show you the stairs in a second. But the other side of the stairs, not the banister you hold on to. The trim that runs up the side of the wall where your carpet is, that's always been really bad. It must have been painted that many times that there were just layers and layers, like gloss, but there was almost like a little channel and the gloss had kind of created this closed in channel. Imagine like snipping a straw and opening it slightly. So you had this like weird channel with all these bumpy bits of gloss stuck on it and obviously dust got in there you couldn't be hoovered out and you couldn't get a wet wipe in it it definitely needed like a cleaning wipe to get it out but because of the shape of it like this with the bumpy bits 
<laughs> Honestly, I really should have just filmed it before. It was horrendous. So I could, we could never clean it and it always looked really grim. So I put a new sanding sheet on my trusty sander, completely blitzed it into oblivion <laughs> until the channel was completely flat. So all these crusty bits, I'd just taken that out and then filled the now open channel with cork so no dust can get in. So it's all nice and flat now. So I had to wait for the cork to dry and then Sunday I did all the painting of all the skirting boards. Couldn't take the carpet up. If the carpet was coming up, it wasn't going back down in one piece. That stuff is down tight on the stairs. So it was a case of very gently going across the top of the carpet. Yes, I got it on the carpet in a couple of places, but it looks better. It is now five past 10. I have already been up for quite a while. I have done my script for the LOL cake tutorial. I have done my voiceover for the LOL tutorial and now I'm just starting to edit it, putting my instructions to the right bits of the video, adding the background music, and then that will go up on YouTube for tomorrow. So I'm ahead with that. I didn't start baking my mum's cake though. So that's another job for today. And we eventually decided on a present, which should be arriving today, just after dinner time. Yeah, that's why I look a bit like a death today. Because <laughs> I'm still full of gloss. Gloss is so hard to get off. So because the kitchen door still needs a second coat, I'm going to do that second coat today and then have a well-earned long soak in the bath tonight, hopefully. So I've just got my comfies warm snuggly on. It's actually a thumper hoodie. I've got all my comfies. I've got my pink jacket there. I've got my grey version here. I also have my other grey robe, which also has a thumper face on it. I just have my nice selection of comfies for the Monday morning. Right, I'm going to go and edit this and I will see you in a bit. My parcel has just arrived, so I'm just opening it up to check that everything is here. So we got it from H. Samuel. My mum is hard to buy for because she's quite fussy and because it's her 70th we know she will want something that she can keep. The present buying was so difficult that we bought something that I'm not 100% sure she will actually wear. Um, we've got her jewellery, because it's her 70th, something to keep. But if you buy jewellery that's too expensive, she won't wear it because she will be scared of losing it. She's also very picky with earrings, so I stayed away with from that. If she's going to wear anything, it would probably be a necklace. But the necklaces that you can get to put charms on like if you want to keep adding the charms it's just going to look a bit daft when you when you're sat there with like all these charms attached to your neck so the other option was a bracelet but she's recently got a fitbit so i'm not sure she's going to wear the bracelet with a fitbit but we were all out of ideas and there's literally nothing else to buy because we already got her like disney traditions and stuff for christmas so what we eventually ended on was this brand which is very similar to the Pandora stuff. Um, Pandora do Disney and so does this company. I don't even know how to say this. I'm not a massive brand person. I don't buy a lot of branded stuff. But I don't know if this is Camilla. No, Camilla. No, there's an I in there, isn't there? Or Chamilia. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue. But what we have decided is in this little pouch is the bracelet itself comes i don't know if you can read that it says disney on it that we can then add charms to and this one came with a charm and it is this adorable black mickey pearl so this is a black pearl with mickey ears on there is a reason for this my mum's name is pearl <laughs> So that's where I was going with it. Um, and this black Mickey one, I have kind of symbolised as my dad. Because they then did this little charm to add on to it. Which is a white pearl for Minnie Mouse. So this is 
the mini mouth ears and the bow with Swarovski crystals, little red ones in there. So I got this one to kind of symbolise my mum to go with the little black one. And then as an extra charm to put on in this box should be a little Mickey glove. I mean, these are these are so much tinier than they look on the internet, but I suppose they're supposed to be because if you end up with a bracelet full of charms, you don't want massive, massive ones on there. I don't know if you can see there's little lines on there for the Mickey glove. So now that I've checked it all, I'm going to put it all back away and just hope that she likes it and that she will wear it. Good morning, it's actually the next day, but I just wanted to pop on because I needed to end the vlog. All day today I will be working on my mum's cake because it's her birthday tomorrow and the cake has only been baked. There's no filling, there's no ganache, there's no design. So that is what I'll be doing all day today to try and get that finished. And I also need to nip out and see if I can get her some balloons. But thank you for spending yet another week with me. Lockdown has certainly made filming vlogs very different. <laughs> um, if you want some normality, go back right to the beginning. I know a few people have commented and they've gone back to watch my old vlogs in the days where I used to actually deliver to venues. <laughs> the filming of me making the cakes and delivering them to weddings. Yeah, if you're looking for something to do, they're all there. <laughs> Makes a change from staring at this big clock and these drawers that I've been filming for for the past year. So I am off for a day of cake and I will see you again in a couple of weeks.